Nova here. I'm so excited to see you again this week. Kaylee and I enjoyed seeing all of your creative Mars rovers that you made last week. It was so much fun to hear about all the interesting instruments and different things you wanted to measure about the surface of Mars. I can't believe it's already our last week of Space Explorers. I hope you've learned as much as I have. I can't wait to see all the creative ways you come up with to share what you've learned about outer space with others. Are you ready to get started? Here we go. Hey Juniors, welcome back to the last session of our Virtual Space Explorer series. After you finish today's activity, feel free to stop by your local shop and purchase your Space Science Investigator badge. It's really cool and it's a great way to show off all of the hard work that you've put in over the last few weeks. I'm Kayla Roloffs with Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, and I just want to say thanks again to everyone who joined us last week. Nova and I had a blast looking at all of your Mars rovers, like Evelyn's Elephant Rover and Lily's Solar Powered Photo Collecting Rover, and to everyone else who shared what they were making as well. Before we get started, let's do the Girl Scout Promise and Law. If you could raise your right hand, we'll get started. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. We have spent a lot of time learning about space over the last few weeks. To celebrate all of our hard work and to show off everything that we've learned, today we're going to create our own space show. So for this activity, you get to use whatever materials you want. Markers, paper, you could use props, just whatever you feel you need to show off what you've learned. We've learned so much about outer space over the past few weeks. If you still have all of your projects, it might help to pull them out so you can decide which ones you want to create new activities with. Think about our very first session where we did our Trip Around the Sun book. Is there a way you can incorporate your Trip Around the Sun into some sort of skit or song that talks about the planets, Mars, and even the constellations? I know, when you put your mind to it, you're going to be able to come up with some amazing creations. I can't wait to see them! Think of all the creative ways you can share the information you've learned with others. This activity lets you get extra creative and show off what you've learned in your favorite way. Do you want to sing a song or maybe write your own poem? What about creating your own skit or your own dance? You're going to share your performance so that you can inspire and teach others the things that you've discovered during this badge. You can also share with your Girl Scout sisters on our Facebook page so that everyone can see. There are lots of different things to consider as you plan your space show. Where will it take place? Will it be on a planet? Will it be on the moon? Or how about just floating through outer space like me? Think of all the things you'd see, and everything you know about them. It's really great when we can share what we know with others. You'll also have to think of what kind of adventure you'd have, and if there's any kind of costumes you'd want to create. When we learned about the planets, we learned about the different features of them, from rings to colors. Do you think you could create a costume of your favorite planet? Do you think there's a way to incorporate your Mars rover? Or is there another kind of transportation you might need to make, like a rocket ship or a space shuttle? Are you ready to see what Kayla did for her space show? All right, let's see what she's made for us. All right, juniors. So here's an example that I made just to show off a few of my favorite things from the last few weeks. 
Um, I just did a picture with some of the constellations and our Mars rover. You can include whatever you want that you remember from our Space Explorer series. And like we said, it doesn't have to be a picture. It can be whatever you want. Wasn't it fun to see how Kayla shared everything she did through Space Explorers? What kind of things do you want to share that you learned? Kayla and I would really like it if you'd share it with us and with each other. Once you're done with your project, check out some of the projects from your junior sisters on our Facebook page. Maybe you'll learn something from their performances. Nova and I hope that you had fun over the last five weeks. If you're looking to do some more science stuff, come back next week when we start our investigation series, where you get to dive into the science of detecting. I can't believe our journey has come to an end already. I hope you had fun exploring outer space with Kayla and I. I really enjoyed meeting all of you and seeing all of your creative projects as we learned more about our solar system. If you want, there's an extra special activity at the end of this video where you can make moon sand. I hope you join Kayla and my friend Willow as you start your Investigation Awaits series next week. Thanks again, girls, and I hope to see you soon. Nova out! Hi, girls! Thanks for sticking around to make moon sand with Kayla and I. All right, let's get started. If you want to make moon sand, here's the recipe of the ingredients you'll need to gather and then Kayla will walk you through it. If you need some time to gather your ingredients, go ahead and pause the video and then start it back up again if you're ready to make moon sand with Kayla. This recipe calls for eight cups of flour to every one cup of oil. That makes a lot of sand, so feel free to scale back however works best for you. To scale the recipe, we're going to reduce the flour and oil in equal parts. So to cut your recipe in half, you would use four cups of flour and a half a cup of oil. To cut it into fours, you'd use two cups of flour and one quarter cup oil. For my recipe, I cut it in half and decided to use four cups of flour and a half a cup of grapeseed oil. You can use whatever oil you have on hand. I just chose grapeseed oil because I have that at home. I hear that baby oil makes it the softest, but you can do whatever works best for you. So we're gonna pour the flour into, I just used a baking dish. I think it's the easiest to play that way, but use whatever you have. And then we're going to add our oil. If you're going to use food coloring, you can add that in right now. Once you're done with your, putting your ingredients in the dish, you are going to mix them up until all of the oil is mixed in. Wasn't that fun, girls? Think of all the ways you can use moon sand to teach others about outer space.